हाय गाइस कैसे हैं आप लोग पिछली बार हमने ये देखा था डॉलर साइन तो डॉलर साइन हमने कैसे देखा था हमने कहा इसको सिर्फ लिंक किया हुआ है लिंक किया हुआ है इसको और इसको डॉलर साइन के साथ लिंक किया हुआ है यहाँ पे एफ फोर की के साथ इसको फिक्स कर दिया था और फिर इसको मैंने कॉपी करके नीचे पेस्ट किया तो ये ऐसे पेस्ट होता है इसको कॉपी करके पेस्ट किया तो ये ऐसे पेस्ट होता है एफ टू दबा के चेक कर सकते हो लिंक इज फिक्सड तो दिस इज फिक्सड लिंक एंड दिस इज नॉट फिक्सड लिंक नॉट फिक्सड ओके सो दिस इज फिक्सड लिंक यूजिंग द की एफ फोर ओके दैट शॉर्टकट इज इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू टूडे इज अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ एडिटिंग वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू एडिट So what we'll do is we'll select this. Say these are all numbers, but all are numbers except this percentage. So let me select it from here. So I selected it from here. The whole sheet is now selected. Control one. MacBook में command one. Control one, command one. से ये dialog box खुलेगा. Format cells. This dialog box will have all the categories. जनरल नंबर करेंसी अकाउंटिंग वट एवर यू वॉन्ट सो लेट से आई वॉन्ट नंबर एंड लेट से आई नीड टू डेसिमल प्लेसेस एंड देन आई डू आई ऑल्सो यूज कॉमा सेपरेटर ऑल दो देर आर नो थाउजेंड ईयर सो कॉमा सेपरेटर विल नॉट बी यूज सो दिस इज हाउ आई कैन यू नो कन्वर्ट इट इन टू प्रॉपर नंबर्स प्रॉपर फॉर्मैटिंग नाउ दिस नंबर इज एक्चुअली अ परसेंटेज so i can again press control 1 i can see percentage here two decimal places it's fine that's how the percentage looks like now if i don't want you know uh, the decimal places if i don't want to see the decimal places i can again go here number and i can reduce the decimal places from here otherwise there is an option here can you see in the ribbon in the ribbon there is an option underneath this number in the center this is increase decimal and this is decrease decimal you can decrease the decimal you can see this also gets converted again if i want to convert it into percentage there is a percentage sign beside this increase decimal a comma sign is there and then percentage sign is there and click on percentage can again increase decimals that's how you can edit it now you can select this if you want to add borders you can click on this and you can click on all borders so there will be all borders now now if you want to color this so you can use this to color anything or you can just click on this to color it yellow you can see this is growing using the percentage and it is doubling it is getting doubled 100 rupees 200 rupees ban jata hai at this rate this is linked somewhere else where is this linked if i click on f2 then what is happening it is showing me it is functions that is the sheet name d6 cell from this sheet that means it's on the other sheet if i want to directly go to that cell which where it is linked i can use control plus curly bracket so if i click on this control plus curly bracket i directly go here where there is you know this is linked there correct if i click on f2 i can see it is linked to functions d6 control left curly bracket will take me to this point where i can see this is nothing but d6 now let's give this a border okay now this rate is the formula which we are calculating so maybe we can give another color to this maybe something like this and this cell is linked over there okay now these are all inputs and maybe we can just select this and control b to bold it 
control i to make it italic okay now if you want to remove these gray lines you can go to view at the top and you can just check uncheck this grid lines uncheck it you can see this looks nice now let's go to the first sheet so this was the first sheet i can select this like control shift right control shift down so to select the complete table control shift right control shift down now let's say i want to format this so this is a date format while all of this is text format so i'll select all of these first control shift down control 1 and then what i'll do is i'll go to date and there are so many different date formats which i can select let's say i want to show it in say this manner okay i'll make all of them center i can do it using home and this panel here is very important for formatting all of these things okay so what i'll use is i'll just center it so all of it comes into the center now what i want is this column width is you can see when i click between a and b it's showing 16.67 or 105 pixels i want to make the column width similar for which I will go to this format at the right hand side top click on it click on column width so column width I don't know how much to give so let's experiment let's say 100 so it is very very high so not let's not go there let's say 10 10 is also very high for us now let's say 6 okay so 6 looks good to me in fact five will also do let us check yeah five is working nice it looks good now what we'll do is we'll just border it let's border all of it let's go to view and let's remove the grid lines let's say let's go to line and let's select this line and then let's click on this this is how you can give different kind of borders now let's select this and give this a dark color let's give it a dark color dark color and let's give the text a very light color maybe white color let's bold it let's italic control b and control i bold italic okay now uh, this was the first topic we made this timetable although what we learned was fill function how to fill it how to drag it then we learned function basically the function we used we learned was rate function next day we learned both the things that is fill plus rate then we learned the most important topic that is dollar sign very important let's maybe bold and italic this as well today what we are learning is editing there are two more topics to go before we reach EBITDA forecast. Stay tuned guys. I hope you like the kind of editing we did. So this sheet now looks like this. This sheet looks like this. And this is something like this. You can just zoom out a little and see. This is very very helpful in financial modeling. That is this shortcut control plus left curly bracket. This will help you to go to the cell where it is linked. This is linked to function. Let's go there. Boom. Thank you so much guys. Please share this with all of your friends who need this, who want to learn Excel or finance or financial modeling. Comment below, let me know, you know, how did you like this video? Thank you.